Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I, the Crafter. And guess what? It's week number 12 of the challenge. I can't believe it already. Week 12, that marks what? Is it 12? That's three months. Good grief. 4, 8, 12, yeah, it is three months. So there you go. Um, we're going to look at this in a moment. But first of all, just a couple of explanations. Um, I pulled the, ca the camera out a little bit today because I've had a few comments that I'm a little bit too close. That's fine with me. And also, besides that, I do have something I want to show you that's a little bit bigger than this um, when we get to that. So let's push the book to one side. And before I get started, I just want to go through all of the comments. Because you're all so kindly commenting and following and subscribing, and thank you for that, um, the views and the comments are now getting a lot more than I think I can do within the video. So what I'm trying to do is whenever I get time on my schedule, I'm going down into the comments and trying to answer them as I can. However, I do want to do hellos and that every now and then. So um, I'll do that as I go along. Most of it is just highs and hellos. And there are one or two things um, that I've been asked about that I can show. So first of all, let's have a look at the prompts, shall we? Prompts. There's the prompts for this one. Right now, if I understand my camera position correctly, that should still be within shot. If it's not, we're in trouble because I can only do this once. I can't undo it and refilm it. So there you go. Um, so the first prompt was a comic. Now, a comic to me really confused me because did they mean a comic strip or someone who is a comic? So the only thing I could find was I found this picture and she or he or they are looking pretty funny to me. So I've gone with it's a comic as in a comedian comic. So that's my get out of jail free card on that. It's the only one I could find. Uh, next, architecture. I normally struggle with architecture, but I do have a few things here. Um, obviously, architecture. I like, I like windows. I don't know why. I've always quite liked windows. Um, that looked kind of architectural, although it's probably not. Um, a bird or a bee house house. I found these little square pictures of house mouldings. Um, love that. Wouldn't that be nice to have that as the entrance way to your house? Wouldn't want the bills that go with it though. So there you go, more architecture. So I think for me it's going to be architectural elements. Oh, it's in the wrong pile. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, architectural elements rather than a building. And I think I'm okay with that. Next on there, something cold, right, hunted high and low. The only thing I could find that was cold was a block of ice cubes in a magazine. So that's that box ticked, ticked but I'm not sure how that's going to fit into the overall collage. It could just be a hint or at least we know it's on the page somewhere. Um, a favourite word, Marguerite, that's a really tough one. I love the language. I love lots of words. So I've, I've done my best to pull some words out. Um, and find them and decide on them. I've got words, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to use or how I'm going to use them. Like legacy. I've always said I want to leave a legacy behind me. Living, I'm hoping that's what we're going to do. Happily ever after. To me, that's quite important. Love, and that's not love in a sloppy, I must buy you a bunch of flowers sort of way. It's love in we should love each other instead of hate each other. Summer, and that's probably because it's a beautiful day here today. And then I found this word journal, which seemed quite appropriate and may actually just end up on the page because journal is actually quite important to me. It's also journal journey. It's it's my path through life. So I'm a junk journaler as well. So it's it, it's a word that it's really hard to pin down one word, people. OK, so let's move on before I get really irate. Um, bird. Bird was really easy, actually. I went through my magazine clippings, I went through all of the stuff and found lots of birds. I absolutely love him. I think he's probably going to be on this one. Um, a robin. A robin's really, it's significant to me because it's my mother's favourite bird, so that might appear in there somewhere. Um, these all look like seabirds to me, so there may be a sea theme in the future, if not in this one. Found these on some, they look like mugs or vases or jars. Don't know whether they're vintage or someone's created them. Um, I found this little picture of a British house sparrow. British house, house's architecture. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but there you go. And I like this bird because of the colour of it. So I don't know, I do have options there, so I'm not upset by that. 
Um, <clears throat> something else I pulled in that isn't on here is I pulled in some elements that just sort of called to me as I was going through my snippets box. I think they just reminded me a bit of wallpaper and I like the blue and the blue seemed to feature quite a lot within the stuff I was pulling up. So they're sort of in the parking lot, let's say. They might be used or may not be used. Um, the bonus was stamping in a non-black ink. So I thought, okay, I'm not gonna use any digitals. Let's make a background. Oh, sorry, that's in the parking lot as well. That's a bit that I put in the wrong category. So as there's birds involved, what I did was I actually have a couple of feather stamps. Where have I got the feather stamps? I had them in my hand. Okay. Um, <clears throat> don't ask me where they're from. I don't know. But these two feather stamps here, I put them onto an acrylic block and then just stamped randomly, making myself a background paper. And I stamped in grey. I then um, decided, right, let's do the same thing with words. So I've got a feeling these three words come on a stamp set for KTC Designs, but I I don't keep the um, the marketing stuff. I group all my stamps in. Like anything that's a word goes together. Anything that's a bird will go together. I split up packs so I don't know what is what. And I just arranged them onto an acrylic block and then I just stamped them in that one. I did them uniform and this I turned them around just to create myself something as an interesting background um, because I didn't have a digital, I didn't have any craft papers and I thought that way it gives me something of interest. Also the words believe, hope and dream I think are really important currently um, so I liked that idea. So, so those are going to be my two um, bonus bits that I'm using. So of course I'm trying to use all of the prompts and not just a few. Right, let's have a quick look at my really hideous handwriting. Um, okay, quick hellos and highs to Kerry, Anita, Michelle Trevon, uh, Marilyn Torsh, Danielle Lombardi. Um, Danielle, I did end up liking you. I managed how to do it. Barbara Cheatham. Yes, I love the butterfly in the last um, spread. This one. Yeah, I do think it was a moment of genius and I think it works perfectly on that page. Um... Anne Butler, hi and good luck for your own collage. You asked about my glue book, right? This is the reason I pulled out, guys. Um, this is my glue book. Well, this is the cover of my glue book. It was a big, like, coffee table book, and I utilised a bit for... I've been using it a lot, and basically the inside has started to break. I need to make a new one, is what I'm doing, and I've used some pages from it. So when I say a glue book, this is pretty much what I mean. I, I will just take some mindful time and I will do a spread. Like this one for me, I focused on the colour blue. This one, I focused on sunflowers. And it just, I mean, as I found that, I mean, I did this spread and then maybe a month later I found the butterfly. And then maybe a couple of weeks later I found the words. And then I came across this from the Louvre in Paris. And I don't know, so they're never quite finished. I sometimes find things and add to them. Um... This, I believe, was a collage out of um, some stuff I found, or what was it? I think it's part of the Harry Potter series. It was Fantastical Beasts and Where to Find Them. And I found this book in a thrift store, and I actually took it and took elements from it and made this collage out of it. Um, this is one that's ongoing. It was For me, it was all about flight. And as you can see, I haven't finished it yet, but I don't mind. I'm quite happy to just let it sit and come back to it in the future. Um, this one is pretty much finished. It was a lovely sunny day and I just, I don't know, this, this one just came together. This was, as you can see, most of my stuff is clippings from magazines. I mean, there are things like book pieces as well. Um, this is another one that is actually in the making, as you can see. This is very much a bird theme. I was just playing around. Um, again, I'll come back to it. Let's see. Um, this one made me smile. I don't know. It was just, I think the dog in the bath and that little girl just absolutely cracked me up. And it was just, I had a lot of fun doing this one, actually. It isn't the sort of thing I normally do. It's probably a bit brighter than I normally do, but it was fun. Um, this one isn't finished. It was meant to be something like a geisha girl or Japanese. I don't know, but I never got it finished because I never find the right images. But you know what? They can wait, and when I do find it, they'll go on there. 
Um, this was me doing a bit of shabby chic type of stuff. Again, not quite finished. I mean, all the background is rice papers and printing and papering and stenciling. And that was an image I found. And I think that's probably... Oh, no, there's another one. Um, this is another one I've been working on as well. Um, I was going to build her an entire head of flowers, but I haven't found all the flowers yet. So, as you can see, that's that's sort of what it is. I mean, but also, as you can see, my spine started to fall out and then eventually I took too many pages out of it. So it's become more of a cover now than, than actually a blue book. But I'm thinking I'm going to actually make myself a blue book in the future. And in the blue book, I'm probably going to go for quite large pages and I'm going to put rings at the top so I can take the pages out to actually glue on them and then put them back in and then there'll be less stress on the spine. So there you go. That was that was Anne Butler. Uh, Pat Walden. Hi. Tuesday Turner. Still love that name. Hi. Um, C. Clearly. Hi. Carol K. Nixon. Hi. Nancy Vessels. Darcy. Um, both of you. Hello. Um, Biscuit says hi as well, Darcy. Linda Heim. Hi. And... Yes, I will be doing more videos in the future. Um, I am going to try and aim on introductions and beginner videos. Um, Pauline Stradenson, hello. Karen Kraken, hello. Virginia Harvey, hi. And and yes, I did have the vaccine shot uh, about this time last week. I felt fine. I was a bit tired the next day, but I don't know if that was my workload or whether it's actually the vaccine. Um, Lucy 7B, hi. Sarah Gilbert, hi. Whitney Costa, hi. Um, you're the lady who's in Portland, Oregon. I do remember Portland, Oregon because I used to work on the cruise ships. And at one point, the cruise ship I was on, we went into dry dock in Portland, Oregon. So I spent about two weeks in Portland, Oregon. You never know. I might have walked past you and never knew it. Uh, Millicent O'Neill, hi. And yes, um, I love anything the girl does. Um... I can't remember what the other one answered. Oh, um, yes, I do love everything that Gail does. I also love her love of glue books. And as I said, I'm going to start a new one. Right, that's it. I think from now on, I'm going to choose maybe three or four people each um, video to say hi to. As I think Gail, Gail does hi and hugs. So I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm in, going to endeavour to answer all your comments as go along. Right, enough of my gossiping and gassing here. Let's get on with this collage before you all get really bored and nobody actually stays. So I'm going to start with some backgrounds. I've got my normal stuff. I've got a glue stick. I've got a tear ruler. Um, I've got my spreading card. I've got a couple of pairs of scissors as well. So I'm just going to work on the background a little bit before I start. Let's just take some pieces off here. Uh, let's just put them in. It doesn't matter where they go because obviously I can put them anywhere I want on this page. I think about there. So how is everyone doing out there? Um, here in Wales, we have a remarkably sunny day. I don't like that there now. Um, we have a remarkably sunny day, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, there's a definite air of... How would I say it? Um, an air of positivity, let's put it that way. I... I think people are beginning to believe that there is light at the end of this this tunnel which has been created by the the virus um, that like we've had our government has actually put out an announcement that we're going to start coming out of lockdown soon. I mean, we've been in lockdown since before Christmas. Um, we can't even shop unless it's online, other than food shops. They're the only ones open. But um, I think in England, uh, the children went back to school. I want to say it was two days a week last week. However, in Wales, um, our children go back. Actually, I think it might be this week. In fact, it might even be today. Today is Tuesday for me, and I think... I think it might even be today that they start to go back. So um, a lot of us are viewing that as a very positive sign. I am. And I just hope it continues. That's, that's all I can say. I think, I think everyone in the world has now had enough. Although it's all out of our control, at least there's some light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, I've really noticed things like holiday companies have started 
putting more TV advertisements out there now, um, talking about book your holidays. I know some travel agents are doing special deals on um, flights and stuff like that. So I, th I think everyone has finally started to believe that it's going to happen. So there you go. Right. OK, I'm going to stop gossiping for a minute and try and get my head around this. I've got a feeling because this is thick and this is thin, if I'd leave that on top of there, I'm going to have a ridge. Right, I think I want to actually just start creating this background. Now, I did have this word journal, which I quite liked on there, but I'm not 100% certain that this is the right spread for it. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, it's quite a dominant piece on this page. And even if I cut it down, I don't know. I'm a little un, I'm a little thrown by this bit because wherever I put it, it will eventually just disappear or get covered up. So I think I'm going to put put this to one side. It can go go into the box. And when I say box or basket, by the way, this is what I mean. Anything that doesn't make it to the collage gets dumped in here. And occasionally I dip back into it when I'm checking the stuff because you're always surprised what you find in that basket. This, I don't quite like that. It's a little bit too pale for me there. I'm wondering whether I like that better. I wonder whether I like that if I tore it down the middle better. So here I'm destroying stuff immediately. Um, I am seeing more and more people owning up to doing this challenge. And I say owning up because I think it's quite funny. I think a lot of people have been secretly having a go but don't actually want to share what they're doing because I think everyone's a little afraid of being judged, to be honest. And I'm like, forget it, guys. Just do it. I mean, no one has a right to judge anybody. So just go ahead and have a go, is what I say. Um, I'm thinking this might be a bit big now as well. Um, I mean, one of those, I don't know what to do, Moods. So, right, let's think logically. The comic is a top piece. But architecture can be one of the background pieces because I've got so much of it. So let's have a look. Do I like that? Actually, that's got orange in it. And I did say I might pull orange into this. Let's move that down. Right, I'm going to start gluing things down because I'm going to find I'm going to get as if I procrastinate too much. I just want to take that edge off there to make it the right size. And I'll start gluing things down and I find that once I've committed, it will probably then come together a lot quicker. So, right. Um, da, 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 what else have I got to tell you? Um, it's really weird because at the moment, I think all of us who do videos or vlogs or blogs or whatever you wish to call them, I think we're beginning to run out of steam because we've said everything we could possibly say. Um, because we're not actually going anywhere or doing anything, it's a little it's a little difficult to sort of build up a repertoire of things you want to talk about unless you want to go into something personal. And I I don't feel um, YouTube is the right place to get personal about stuff. However, and I'm see I'm just stripping this back completely, aren't I? However, um, there is a time and a place on YouTube to share your personal views or or what's going on in life. I just think that YouTube and social media um, in general, some people misuse and they think it's it's the right place to give their absolute view or opinion on everything in the world because they don't think there are consequences to it. There are people. Don't do it. It's not nice. We're on this planet and we're here to look after each other. Let's not rip each other apart, shall we? So, and that's the end of my public announcement. So, joking, but it's like, I don't really want to go into that. I don't want to be dragged into a conversation about that. But, and I know I'm the one who started the conversation, so there you go. Right, I'm going to stick this piece down because, as I said, I really like it. Um, I don't know whether it was the last spread we did that we had a shoe in it. I think there was a shoe in the last spread. I'll we'll have to leave this down. I'll turn the page over and have a look. And I thought it's quite interesting that the shoe 
from what I can see in the prompts is the one thing that seems to have caused a lot of people a problem and they couldn't find one or couldn't work out to incorporate it. But it wasn't the last one. There you go, it was this week. So if that's 12, 11, week 10, the shoe. It's funny the amount of people who really struggled with the shoe. So, but hey ho, I struggled with the shoe. So all's fair. So right, so I would say that's probably ice uh, architecture. That's something cold. A uh, comic, we know she's going in there. And because he or she, because I can't tell from the picture that it's a he or she, and I would not want to assume it's got orange, I'm thinking orange is going to begin to play within this. And if I'm thinking about that, oops, I just dropped a piece on the floor. This has got orange in it as well. So, But I do feel I want to fill up some of these page pieces now. Um, why did I tear that so small? Answers on a postcard, please. There you go, that one will go there. Let's put that up, that up there. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots of you have given me feedback about my idea of um, will I do something showing how to use a 12 by 12 pad? Um, I will do, I promise you I will. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna aim it at, as, at an introductory or a beginner's level and what I'm going to do with it all is I'm going to um, select a 12 by 12 pad, which isn't very easy at the moment because I can't shop other than online. And I want to actually go into a craft store, pick, up, pick my way through a few of the craft pads and actually see what papers are in there to play with. And then I can come back and start and I think what we'll do is we'll start at the very beginning from opening up the craft pad the 12 by 12 and I'll talk the way through my thought process of how I select papers everything like that and then what we'll try and do is we'll try and do one or two pages a video so not the video is not going to be millions of hours long it'll become a playlist as I said it'll become a series and then what I'll do is I will make make projects using 12 by 12s and then at the very end of it and I'll keep anything that I cut off, any snippets, anything along the way and then by the end of it I will have used an entire craft pad um, and we've used all the snippets up and made useful ephemera and stuff but I'm going to trim that down later I just want to make sure it wasn't overlapping too much um, and I think that's that's a nice thing to do and I'm quite happy about that. So, right, let's see if how I'm going on here. We've got the comic to come. Architecture's here, something cold. Um, stamping on a background. Uh, stamping with a non-black ink onto a background, whatever. I've done that one. So I've still got holes in this. So I think now I can come in. And because I'm at the point where I think I can play a little bit more, I think I can put pieces in now that are not necessarily part of the prompts. Um, as normal, if anyone's watching one of my videos for the first time, uh, you'll see me tear these pages out of this old book that I'm using as a glue book. I don't throw them away. I actually put them into another box and eventually I turn them into things like journal cards. I use them as backgrounds. I sometimes reinforce other pages with them. There's other things I do with them. So don't, don't think they're going to be just directly thrown away. They are not. So I do use them. So I mean, some of them I fold in half, like most of them you've seen here. Some I actually leave as whole pages. Um, others I'll fold in half and then fold into a quarter as well, just to get a more sturdy piece of paper stock. So, and some of them, because with a glue stick, a glue stick will actually dry. Some of them, if they've got really interesting paper in them, um, I'll actually leave to one side and eventually they will dry out and then I can just use them again. Right, I'm liking that and I want to tear the edges off this one. Um, and I can use them again because the glue is dry and it's only stickiness that actually causes me to stop using them. Ah, there you go. Um, right, what were the other things I had to tell you? Um, the workshop I did in mixed media for the television show. That went really, really well. Thank you for asking, those who asked. Um, I was very, very happy with the results. It was one I hadn't done before, so that was a new thing for me and I quite enjoyed that. So um, my television show went well as well. That was, that was also good. So lots of positive things coming out of the things I'm doing and it's, 
it's nice to be in positive mode and I'm wondering whether springtime and the sunshine is actually really really bringing it to the fore for everybody oh, I've probably just stuck that right down no I haven't it's okay um I think in America and Canada you've just done a time change I think you've gone forward an hour I don't know I think Australia would have gone back an hour at some point but I don't know when I do know that I think it's ne is it next weekend or the weekend after I think it's the weekend of the 26th we change our clocks so currently we're a little bit out of sync here but that's also fine I don't mind that um I don't really know what I feel about changing clocks. I, I've never quite understood the reason for it. I know everyone says, oh, it makes the evenings lighter and the mornings darker. And I'm like, it helps the school kids going back and forth to school. I'm like, really? Because you're just sacrificing darkness at one end of the day for darkness at the other end of the day. Don't understand it. Maybe I'm not meant to. So, right. Let's have a look at this page now and see where I'm at. I love the window, but the window is too big. That needs to go into the parking lot. That's not going to go on here. I don't want any more of this background paper. Love it though I do. I don't want any more on here. I think the colour would become too dominant as we go along. Um, let's see. I do have this piece which really does appeal to me. And I'm thinking of putting it there, but not. I want something underneath it before I start. But I'll put that underneath it. Let's put that underneath it. There you go. That was that cured. I looked down and there it was. So let's take that and pop that in there. There you go. I still want something underneath that, so I'm not going to stick something on there just yet. Um, I've got little areas here. I do seem to be airing towards the architectural side of this spread. And I think I'm pulling in the reds and oranges completely not on purpose. I'm just, they just happen to be developing that way. So, um, and that's, that's what I mean in past, past videos I've said, it's like college collaging by gut. It's my gut instinct as to whether I should put something in or take something out. Um, because I'm OCD, the faster I work, the better it is because otherwise I'm going to spend all my time um, procrastinating about what needs to go where. So like I'm probably about to do with this strip here, wondering what the heck needs to go. Actually, I think if I tear this down a bit, if I can tear it down a bit, I might be able to get that in there. So I don't know what my obsession is about tearing everything. I mean, I could quite easily have cut this on my guillotine, but, but I didn't, did I? So there you go. I can't pick it up. Come on. Ugh. No, I'm not going to be able to get that little bit there. So I'm just going to take a scissors to it because I I care, but I don't. Right. I think that will work beautifully. Let's take that little bit off there. I seem to have got a lot out of that strip. That was just an image from a magazine. It was, I think it was an upholstery image and I just clipped it out, probably watching a movie at the same time, and put it in my box and didn't actually have a plan for it, but here you go. It's become quite an integral piece of this collage. Right, I've got that little bit left, that's fine. Right, um, we're kind of getting there already, I think, with this one. I do need to double check because I'm sure I've missed things, right? Um, a comic, right, it may be time to consider where the comic needs to come into this all. And you know, I'm not actually minding the comic by there. I still like this over here. Although I'm wondering, should this little one be over here instead? Actually, I'm thinking that works a little bit better or like the oranges there down to the yellow so right don't procrastinate Griffiths get it on the page so there you go um what else have we got heading towards us we've got Easter on its way um there's chocolate Easter eggs everywhere at the moment um heaven help anyone who's on a diet is all I can say um I wonder how many people out there are panicking they've been in lockdown 
or not on holiday for a year and all of a sudden we've got the possibility of actually going on holidays again and they're thinking oh my gosh where's my beach body gone well I've got news for you my beach body went years ago so I didn't even know that I had a beach body to start with so um, I don't know are there people scrambling I know that the gyms aren't open in this country yet so I'm sure there's been online exercising going on uh, I think I, I personally think that if you live by the code of everything in moderation, you shouldn't get far into trouble. Do you know what I mean with body weight? But then there are other things in life um, that contribute to weight gain. So again, I don't want to go into that discussion wholly because I'm quite lucky in that because I walk a lot and I'm always working and probably the stress levels of life. Um, I'm quite lucky that my my weight does fluctuate, but I hopefully have never been anywhere that would be called obese. It's I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's. I think we do tend to overeat. Everywhere in the world, I think overeats. To be honest, um, but um, sorry, I'm I'm trying to think and talk, and my brain is just shutting down on me. Um, and I think the companies are actually, the big companies are a lot to blame. I mean, I was in the supermarket the other day or grocery store to my American friends and there's a bag of sweets called Revels. I'm sure you've seen it. It's international. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's everywhere. Um, and it's, it's basically a bag of, it's a selection of sweets, uh, a selection of chocolates that have got different fillings. Now, when I was growing up, there was a little packet about this big and you had a bag of Rebels. Then it went to a family size bag. Now there's a really big bag which they call family sharing bag. I can guarantee people are not buying that and sharing it. They're buying it and eating it. So I think a lot of the blame is that they, they just keep adding and adding and adding um, different sizes. Like I think, and I'm maybe getting this one wrong, I think a few years ago there was um, either a movie or a documentary um, and I think it was aimed at McDonald's I'm not I'm not sure and it was something like Super Size Me or something like that and I think that culture is so well embedded now that it's become quite scary what people eat in a meal I mean I've, I was brought up where you sat down, you had a good wholesome meal and you didn't leave the table until you were finished. Um, and even to this very day, I mean, there's only my sister and I left now, but we have a food waste bin that goes out and there's very little in it any time you put it out. And yet I look at the rest of the bins in the street and there's some of them where there's so much food wastage in that bin. I'm like, seriously, people, I'm sure you've got a freezer. Could you not freeze scraps? Could you not use them in another way? So, yeah, I don't want to get on a rant because that's what, not what I'm here for. But it does infuriate me that we, we are just wasteful. I'm going to stick that right in there. It was just calling to me. Um, that we've just become very wasteful. And I think a lot of it is us. I think a lot of it is the way we're brought up. I also think that the bigger companies and supermarkets to actually make the profit margin work has actually made the package sizes bigger, therefore gives them a bigger profit, therefore we buy more than we want, so we just buy it anyway because the bigger multi-packs are cheaper. So, I don't know, it's a, weird, it's a weird scenario, I'm not really sure how I feel about all that, although I do wish people would learn to utilise their scraps more. Okay, right, back to the collage, which I've obviously been plodding along and not talking to you at all about. So comic, lady, man, comics on there, done. Architecture, definitely architectural undertones on here. Something cold, the ice, and it's still visible, which is a surprise because I thought I'd end up covering it up. Favourite word, right. I have dream, hope and believe there. I think I want to pull in one of these just, just because I think I do. I quite like the word love. Summer is a bit too predictable. That needs to go in the parking lot. That summer, although it's the right colour, Actually, that might go up there, actually. I know it's more than one word, but um, when I read the instructions about this, um, 
it did say this as a stamp or a flower that you can make multiples of them. So I was like, okay, living happily ever after legacy. Legacy is quite important because I think we are in the process of leaving a legacy for the people who follow behind us. So I think up there, I think that's going to be enough of that. I, I don't want to make this a very wordy, wordy spread, although I, I do tend to like using words in my spreads. That's bothering me, but that may be where the bird ends up going. So let's put legacy down. Um, yeah, it's funny how, I mean, just let's talk about the word legacy. For me, when I started my creative journey, should we say, I think I need to find out where the end of this is. Um, my creative journey, it was started as Kate Decoration and Design, as probably some of you know by now, because you've been on my YouTube channel and you've probably been to my social media and you've popped around and go, oh, he does cake. I do cake as well, people. Um, and there was, there was one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to leave something um, for those who came behind me because my speciality is raw icing and piping skills in cake decoration and design and that's that's quite a historical skill um, and some would call it a dying art although I've seen a huge resurgence in it so I don't believe it's dying anymore but I, I wanted to make sure that things weren't lost so I ended up luckily having the opportunity to write a couple of books which I've written a couple of books um, for publishers I wrote them um, Oh, God, I think it's called, I can't remember what it's called, uh, Making Iced Flowers and More Iced Flowers, I think, which was by a company called B. Dutton, and it was all about piping flowers out of raw icing. Um, I then wrote two books of my own as self-published, which were about piping historical type borders in raw icing. Um, then they were, they were taken over by a company who then combined them and there's now a book out there called Border Inspirations 1 and 2 combined edition and and believe it or not I won a literary award in New York for that book and that was all written in my bedroom there you go so right where is this coming into play Mr. Man does he have to be the right way up mm, I don't know no, I really want to use him but I'm going to put him to one side for a second to see whether any of these other birds work for me Right, the blue obviously works in there. I think the little mugs, although I love them, I think, and no, they're a parking lot. These are all seabirds, and I think later on I'm probably going to do a sort of seabird theme. So that only leaves me with this and this. Um, that cries to go there, but I don't particularly, I don't really want to cover that up. I love that piece. It's sort of feathery, isn't it? Um, I suppose he could go there. And that one could go there. Hmm, undecided about that. That seems to be lost in that corner, but then it's quite... I like the subtlety of it, I think, because he's, he's sort of watching from the dark corner. Let's put him in there. Let's stop procrastinating. I'm looking forward later in the year, because obviously we're going to have, like, Thanksgiving and... Halloween and trick-or-treat and all of that coming up quite looking forward to those spreads actually because I don't tend to do stuff like that uh, it's not because I don't want to do it I just never by the time I realize Halloween or Thanksgiving is here I've already missed it so I think I'm going to pop this one by there as I said um, just because it fits so well with everything else that's on this page so let's just put that down there Good coat of glue on him. On the back would be better, Griffiths. Right. I don't know whether that's a falcon or a kestrel or I don't know. To me, it, it it's saying it's a falcon or a crest um kestrel, but I don't really know much about ornithology. So right, let's pull this down to have a little bit more of a look. Um, do the check. Got the comic. Got the architecture. Got something cold. Got favourite word, got bird, got stamping. Everything is on there, but I have noticeable gaps that I want to fill up. That is crying out for something. That equally is crying out for something, and I'm not sure what. I'm now deciding whether I want to go back and look at 
maybe something from here from the parking lot or do I want to do the obvious which I always do as a postage stamp mm, not sure is there anything in in the basket see I've been saving packaging because I know that's going to come up in the future uh, not really these are just things that have come across as I've been digging through stuff oh look I found I found I had cardstock. I looked at that side, didn't look at this side. It's got all Japanese or Chinese inspired script on it. So there's me thinking I didn't have any all this time. And I did. Right. This is still calling to me. I think I want to look for a stamp. Bear with me a second. Right. So oranges and blues, let's just open this up. Right, I use butterflies far too often. We need to steer away from butterflies. Let's have a look on this page. So it doesn't need to be much. Canada, let's look, let's have a look at look at Canada. That looks a little bit too small. Um, this one looks more lavender. Although I don't mind that in there, that's fine. I want something down for there. Pity I don't have something with architecture on it. There's actually buildings in that one. Right, let's stick with that. That's got buildings. I think that might be the answer to it. Let's put that to one side and stretch over there. Right, so I love this one. This one's going to go up in that corner. There you go. Ooh, was it last week there was that interview with um, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry with Oprah Winfrey? Ooh, that's caused some stirs, I can tell you. That that hasn't gone down well, should we say. Um, which I'm not surprised. I mean, whether it's true or not true, I'm not sure whether there is a way to deliver that differently. Um, it's It's caused ripples in the water, should we say in this country so and and if it's true that the racism comments that were brought up if it's true then yes something does need to be done about it um was anyone shocked that the royal family is actually a business i wasn't it's a huge corporation it's a business it's it it has to be managed it has to be something you can't just it just has to be basically so if anyone was shocked about that comment i'm like which planet are you living on people it's it's a big corporation that manages millions and millions and millions both in money expectations business investments properties people's lives yes the royals do live a completely different life than the rest of us live and that's why they're royal and i'm not so right, i'm looking here now i want to put one more stamp there because you know me me from the threes so, yeah, so I'm not sure what the ramifications of that interview are going to be and and how far fetched those ripples are going to go. Um, anything else in here? I've got stuff in the back as well. I do need to spend some time and put all of my stamps into this one album because I keep forgetting to do it. Right, I'm liking this little purple one here if I can get it out. There you go. I don't know why I love the little purple one. It just, it spoke to me. And it's going to go right down by there. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that all pans out. Um, there are a few things in there I was quite surprised at. Um, but then again, I, who knows? Who knows what the actual truth is? And will we ever know what the actual truth is? Um who knows i don't know okay back to the collage we've got all of our elements on here let's put the book by we've got all of the elements on here um it sort of became a collage um i keep looking here going should i put something else there but i think there's a point at which i need to stop um mind you saying that i've got some numbers on my desk here and i'm looking going would i put it i think those were way 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 too big yeah it's funny when you when you start looking around your desk area, right? What's actually on my desk? 
and I do think I want something there. Word is wrong. Is it funny? You can tell the second you put something down, you're like, mm, it's not that. Um, I wouldn't mind tearing that down a bit and just making it a smaller piece because I think that if it was smaller that's it I think I want to put that there I'll keep these two little scraps because they'll be useful in the future right, so I'll put the glue book now so it's just glue on this little bit here so yeah it's collage can be a funny thing once you get on the roll you keep adding and adding and then at one minute you've just gone too far um, but you never know where the too far is so which again goes back to my I need to collage by instinct or gut okay right let's take a little look at that I'm quite happy at that um, once this all dries I will come and trim that edge down I'm quite happy at that I've got 13 cup don't look Griffiths do not look at the next page oh you nearly caught me doing it then didn't you Okay, right, I think I've done that. As I said, a few things. Um, in future, I'm just going to say hello and hi to a few people each time so I don't take too much time saying hello and having comments. I'm going to try and commit to answering everybody's comments as we go along. There will obviously come a point that historically I'm not going to keep going back and back and back through all of them. I will just go through the previous week's collage. I um, hope you enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to doing the next one. Uh, social media links love you to like me follow me share me it would be fabulous to see you on any of those platforms and don't forget i do have an etsy shop and i've got a week coming up where i'm actually going to spend a lot of time working on new products as things are finished in this workspace that need to be completed and i think it's part of my spring cleaning sort of feeling i need to tidy up clean up some old projects get things finished so i can have a whole fresh new outlook on the world so that's that. Now, this is me saying goodbye. So it's goodbye from Kerry the Crafter. Bye-bye. C-E-R-I the Crafter. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.